the Fullerton Library was both a renovation and an expansion. The existing library was built in 1970, and it was built at a time when uh, earth berm structures were popular. And we talk about an earth berm structure, what that means is a uh, kind of masonry building that has the earth surrounding it brought up on both all sides of the building. Uh, it was done as a uh, energy preservation measure. But you can think of that and imagine how dark something like that might be on the inside. So LPA was really charged with bringing back the community to this building, bringing sustainable functions, and trying to bring some of the outside that has been kind of put to the periphery back into the building. It was really important to lighten and brighten everything. So really we came in and just said, you know, if we just painted everything white, if we could get away with that, it would just be a huge improvement. But of course it's a library, so there's, there is a lot of wear and tear. So you have to really balance what people want. And, and in this case, they really wanted as light of a carpet or a paint or a fabric that they could, um, wood finish that they could get away with just because they wanted everything to be, um, maybe not necessarily more modern, but um, more timeless and, and fresh looking and clean. Um, I think that was definitely a, a something that we you know thought through with everything and very simple and nothing too trendy or fashion-y state you know it's just, just very simple. This project happened to have a frontage on Commonwealth which is the main street that connects all of the downtown of Fullerton. Very active street, views the adjacent community center, uh, a, a great ballpark that they have across the street so we thought let's just go ahead and open up that whole frontage and expose to the community what was happening inside the building. So no more would you drive down the main street, look at the library and see just masonry walls. We introduced brand new large expansive windows that uh, exposed the reading rooms beyond, that brought natural daylight way, way into the interior of the project. It was something that was just amazed people as they walked in. It was kind of a, went from a down and dreary feeling to a bright and open and airy and very exciting feeling. What is this? Wait, is this it? You know, because it looks so different with the new windows and the light. It's so amazing how much window, you know, lighting from daylight could just enhance a space. Um, obviously, people are trying to, uh, you know, learning how to use it differently, and things are in a little bit different place. But also, you can, um, you don't even need to talk to a library, and everything is a lot, very self service, and you can check out your own book, and you can watch your book being sorted back in and, and stuff. So it's pretty exciting. Other sustainable features features that were included in the project were a uh, new PV system that we're putting in the uh, parking lot. That's going to have a uh, monitoring system that is going to go right in the main entry of the building and it's going to be accessible to kids and all the patrons are there so they can really have a connection to um, the power that's being generated by the photovoltaic systems uh, once they're inside of the building. They can see how much power is being generated, how much power is being used by the facility. So that's another great way to connect the users, the community with what's happening in the building, not only the architecture but the sustainable features as well.